On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. No, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, and my peeps I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog. So we can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. What a blessed and wonderful Monday morning. Another day above ground. Which is most definitely enough to be grateful for. Because over the weekend, I tell my peeps, knockings and clappings, dirt settings, seems to be the hard of the day for many Many families right now, pandem belly and a ball somewhere, in some place, in some community in Jamaica, because they have lost a loved one over the weekend. Even though some of who lose them three pints are criminal elements and some old crasmites, nonetheless, they are still loved by somebody. Some of peeps, Jamaica has been in constant mourning for the past couple of years. Really sad, indeed. But we could start it off with an update. An update in the knockings and clappings of the Modi siblings. This 20-year-old male presently on your screen, Kenrick Modi, and his 22-year-old sister, Kenesha Modi. Now, I carried their stories yesterday and this morning. Their mother, Stephanie Edwards, has admitted that her children were mixed up. And even though they were mixed up, it is still a sad for her as a mother because I don't know, I fear her belly pain, so she got to feel some type of way regardless of how we may see them. It's her kids and most definitely that is understandable. But I would like to let her know that I commend her for coming out and saying, yes, they got themselves mixed up. Even though she tried her utmost best as a parent to grow them good. Yeah, man. Now, the mother stated in an interview that she heard the voice clip on the internet that says them bingo a food and them go around the bus. So she said, yes, she grew them good, the best that she could, but they got themselves involved in criminal activities where they're not supposed to get themselves involved in her. She stated especially her daughter, Kenesha Moody, got herself involved with criminals and in criminal activities and had her name all over the news. She stated that she has been talking and talking to her and basically trying her best to curve her and the brother out of their criminal lifestyle. And uh, as we all know, back in 2021, she was charged for her involvement in the Kings Valley gang after she was found with rounds of ammunition in her purse. At the time, ACP Fitzbailey announced that Kenesha Modi was the alleged girlfriend for the Kings Valley gang leader, that's Derval Williams. So you can definitely see say from she was pretty young because she's now 22. 
So 2021, she was 19 years of age. So she has been involved in the criminal lifestyle for quite some time. And many parents out there, many, many parents out there, as indeed try their best. But when the kids become adults, them just decide to choose for them part, whichever the part that is. And there's absolutely nothing that some of these parents can do. The parent also stated, that's the mother, that them very secretive. So this are the outcome of it. So because me always a quarrel and me always a talk to them and always a try to get them on the right side and for them walk on the right path, she stated that me grow them the best me can in a distraught voice. I can just imagine how that mother is feeling presently. She stated that her daughter had landed a job in Black River where she rented a house in Brampton and lived with her younger brother. But she said her daughter is believed to have quit the job and continued her criminal lifestyle. So to the parents out there who think your child or children may be involved in criminal activities. I would advise you before you end up being a mother that has lost a child in such an horrific manner. Seek help. And if they are far gone into a criminal lifestyle, alert the police. Sometimes as parents, you know, we literally have to save our children from themselves. Yeah, man. Now, the next story may I talk about, my peeps. This one is really heartbreaking. The man known as Baba Roots, the CEO of Baba Roots, lose him three pints. A man like that that had placed Jamaica on the global circuit in terms of roots, energy drink. Boy, may I tell you, when a man like this can get murder in a house, you know, you know, say, nobody at all now have limits because them money help many employees, many, whole heap of good, them money do, not just for Dalistan, where him live and come from, but for Jamaica and the global market so the man presently on your screen who is now deceased has since been identified as william webb otherwise known as baba roots the businessman and bureau of the popular energy drink baba roots yeah man so the westmoreland police stated that four criminal elements reportedly invaded the man's home through a window about 3.45 a.m. and can him up, leaving him lifeless. It is said that the criminal elements had a brief conversation with him before his life was taken. It is said that the criminal elements also ransacked his room. However, the police are yet to determine the motive behind his knockings and clappings. The loss of life has left residents and business owners in a state of shock and disbelief. Trust me, nobody nana expect that to happen. A baba roots that you know. Them money I help whole heap of youths. And this just show the trajectory that our country is now heading in. If criminal can clap with them money because him feed enough of them too. And if them can have the heart to come take theme life, who am I? Who are you to be spared? Poor I may I tell you my peeps. The thing rough. Now over there in the war torn, crime riddled, violence prone, St. James Police Division. It was rather very festive over the weekend in terms of knockings and clappings that has resulted in the loss of life of many. Not just one, two, three, four, and our five people lose them three pints over the weekend. From my calculation, it's about eight or possibly more than that. Yeah, man. 
the man them deal with the situation grimy even as far as taking the life of a man right in front of the summit police station yeah man same place where you go for deal with like a fingerprint thing right at the police station at bottom road there so yeah man in close proximity right there so yeah, man them drop a man third settings was the order of the day so the first one that we are going to talk about is that of this 14 year old youth known as Dino 14 years old you know little youth we don't really know the reasons behind feeb knockings and clappings so we now go really so much pan it because even though at 14 we now go rule certain things out of it but if he's innocent condolences but if he's not then good readings but on the spot news media most definitely will be making checks into who is Dino, this 14 year old, we get can up losing him three pints over there in Montpelier, St. James. Yeah, man. The next one that we are going to talk about is this brother here presently on your screen. Said to be identified as Pele, lose him three pints too. Information surrounding theme knockings and clappings around Irwin is still not clear but on the spot news media will most definitely be making some checks into his brutal slain now the next man presently on your screen identified as javi lost his life over there in salt spring so the salt spring war has intensified the knockings and clappings continues well, it is said that this brother is a known criminal element that basically lay in bed hard and have to lay down in night. The knackis and clappis them come give him a white circle and page him bilious and dirt settings was the order of the day. Another man end up losing three pints per Market Street, this in St. James. And a double knackings and clappings go on over there in Green Pan, St. James. Two brother end up lose for them three pints. And upon seeing that video, most definitely would have rocked some nerves. One brother was seen in a sitting position with his head down, basically resting his back against a big back TV, the old time type of TV them, with a portion to can up wounds all over him upper body and head. The next brother, however, was seen in a back room laying on a bed with lone can up wounds to him head. Yeah man, the man them deal with the situation. Grimy. Now over there in the St. Andrew Central Police Division, the St. Andrew Central Police have listed some criminal elements that is deemed to be wanted by that police division. Now the criminal elements are presently on your screen and their names are as follows. Now, this criminal element here, this old dirty kind of boy here, has since been identified as Nicholas Williams, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Pooh Bear, said to be 20 years old of a university christened address in Kingston. He's wanted for knockings and clappings with intent. Yeah, man. The next criminal element, the next dirty kind of boy, has since been identified as Russian Douglas, otherwise known as Rush, said to be of a Garden Hill district address in St. Andrew. This brother is wanted for a knockings and clappings that has resulted in the loss of life of a man. The next man presently on your screen has since been identified as Ashwani Mackenzie, otherwise Carl Menx, said to be 27 year old of a Anderson Road address in Kingston wanted for your knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of a man the next man presently on your screen has since been identified as calvin simon otherwise known as cj just 19 years of age said to be of a garden hill district address in saint andrew also wanted for your knockings and clappings that has resulted in the loss of life of a man now all the criminal elements listed 
are being urged to turn themselves in with immediate effect to the half a tree police station and failure to do so will result in Officer Yeman Pican team being deployed to seek you out from wherever it is that you're hiding. So to the persons or person hiding these criminal elements, note you will also be arrested and charged for your involvement in hiding a known fugitive. And if them decide to put up a resistance against the police and knockings and clappings become the order of the day, you may just find yourself as a casualty of war. Yeah, man. And your life is also in imminent danger, just so you know. Because you are hiding a known criminal who has rivals. So when the criminal rivals come to clean house, you too will be taken out, just so you know. So persons are continuing to share the information and to aid the investigations. The police also come in you and ask that you continue to share these information by calling 876-926-8184. Eight four. That is the Half a Tree Police Station. Our Crime Stop at three one one. Or the NIB Tip Line at eight one one. Now the last thing that we are gonna talk about is a knockings and clappings that took place over there in East Kingston. Now the man presently on your screen has since been identified as Shalako Roderick Atkinson. Yeah, man. The man we have the liquor shop there, right across from the skate land. The man them go page him and can him up. What do you hear? So the knockings and clappings there basically go on Friday, sometime about 12.30 p.m. So basically in the midday region there. So right on Windward Road, vicinity 56. So it is said that a criminal element just walk up and the two men them stand up there all a reasoning that uh, Shalako, Atkinson and him friend and just start spray them with bullet. It is said that the criminal element walk off in another direction and entered into a waiting grey Toyota Probox motor car. It is said that the car sped off and basically leave them there. So persons alerted the police. The police come and carry them to the hospital and it is said that Shalako end up lose theme tree pints in the wee hours of Saturday morning. Now, a whole heap of people have said all sorts of things and a whole heap of arguments to make. But we are trying to decipher what is what really and what could have really caused the brother to lose him three pints. Because we all know it says a long time stepper in our streets. So basically it can come off of anything. But the main theory really, even though it's just a theory, not necessarily the facts, that it may have come off of the work site where I go on over skate land. But we now go really say much more as it relates to it. Even though a little sound I make in the pipeline, I say it a come off of Kodra brother knockings and clappings that are all. But as I'm saying, I just word in the streets. So on the spot news media most definitely, I go dig a little bit deeper to see if we can uncover what really go on with the knockings and clappings there. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to on the spot news media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On the spot news media. Yeah, man.